Welcome to the new series all about storage. Hard drives, SD cards, flash drives, anything that we use on a daily or weekly basis for photo and video will be in this series. So today we're gonna start with the smallest one and it's going to be a micro SD card. Now the micro SD card is a very simplistic little thing that you might use occasionally as a photographer, but more often as a videographer. And we're gonna go over what they do and what you use them for today, or at least how to use them as well. So to start, we'll talk about the uses for these little things, and then we'll go over how they work and other things like that. So the uses for a micro SD card are pretty simplistic. Normally you'll put them in something like an action camera or a recording device uh, or a drone or something that is a little bit smaller that requires a smaller port for an SD card. Obviously cameras have a larger SD card spot because it's a camera. Things like a drone or an action camera are just way too small to be able to fit a normal sized SD card. So we end up using these micro SD cards. Micro SD cards are very, very, very similar to a normal SD card. The only difference is really the size, uh, price, and some speed classes are a little bit different because of how small they are. Some of them just can't handle super high speeds. So normally a micro SD card will come with a adapter. It looks like a normal SD card and this goes inside of it. I would only use that for transferring your data if needed. I personally wouldn't put it inside a, a, a device that could use a normal SD slot like a camera. I mean, you're probably not gonna see much of a difference, but you can cause some issues trying to use the adapter in a camera or something along those lines. Even if it says that you're allowed to use it, I would still avoid it because it's just not meant for that. I mean, just use the card meant for your camera. Don't use adapters or anything like that just to save you the fuss of losing your data or having any issues in the future. Uh, and that's mainly because micro SD cards have slower speeds at different cost points, and it might be harder to tell how fast your speed is on your or micro SD card. Now SD cards have different types of classes. There's speed class, there's UHS speed class, video speed class, and SD express speed class, uh, which is more along the lines of your CF expresses. Uh, but your video speed class will be marked with a V. There's V60, V30, and V90. Uh, basically the higher the number, the more speed it can handle. So V30 would be 30 megabytes per second, V60 would be 60 megabytes per second, and 90, 90 megabytes per second. Uh, and those are the speeds that it, are, it is able to achieve. Uh, but then if you're not shooting video and you're shooting photo, you have your UHS speed class, which is going to be U3, U1, et cetera. Uh, and these are just almost the same thing. So U1 would be 10 megabytes per second and U3 would be 30 megabytes per second. But nowadays, most SD cards are able to handle the you know, photo and video. Whereas in the past, though, there was a lot of SD cards that didn't have a V rating because it was only rated for like 720p. Uh, but you'll normally see a V and a U rating uh, on your SD cards. This one, for example, says V30 and U3. So it's 30 megabytes per second is the max speeds it can handle, which is pretty normal for most drones or action cams, things like that. With the way technology is going, you may eventually need a faster one and they do make faster ones. They're usually a different color. So that's the generalization of a micro SD card, how to use it and how it works. If you wanna check out more videos on this, there'll be a playlist or you can check out the channel. I'm gonna go over multiple different types of data storage and uh, I'll see you on the next one.